In 2016, the Joshua Kernahan Memorial Fund was established to raise funds and awareness for youth golf and suicide prevention in Joshua Kernahan's memory. Joshua loved golfing with his father, Brian, and Brian joins me this morning to tell us more. Good morning. Glad to have you here. You. I know this is still a little bit of a tough subject for you to yes. talk about, but what I love about what you and your family have done, though, is this is a way to, you know, remember him. Yes. And uh, I think to help other families yeah. who may be going through something similar and hopefully maybe prevent this yes. as well. Yep. So tell us a little bit about your family's story and kind of the background. Sure. Um, thank you for mm -hmm. uh, the invitation today. Uh, Joshua uh, was my uh, oldest child. Mm -hmm. um, he passed at the age of 18 mm -hmm. um, in late uh, 2015. And uh, he loved, uh, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. um, golfing. He loved the neighbors. He loved the neighborhood. And uh, we wanted to use this opportunity as part of the, the grieving and the healing mm -hmm. process to share our story with others and to help promote both youth golf as well as suicide prevention. So we created the, the golf tournament. Mm -hmm. We did that in uh, 2016, the first year, and our uh, neighbors really rallied uh, around us and um, helped drive um, a, a memorial mm -hmm. placed on the fifth tee at the uh, Cheval Golf and Athletic Club. And from there, we uh, formalized the uh, Charitable Foundation, yeah. and, um, and we've been you know, supporting youth golf and suicide prevention ever since. And we were talking, uh, kind of chatting before we got started and I think suicide is one of those things where it is hard for families to bring up and yes. I think if you are going to bring awareness to it you have to talk about it right yes and this is a way to do that I mean I guess kind yes. of explain what the mission is here sure um, it uh, as you and I talked mm -hmm. uh, before we got on air it's a, a very sensitive subject mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of uh, taboo around it and by working with the American Foundation for suicide prevention we really are promoting uh, educational resources mm -hmm. for um, the survivors of mm -hmm. suicide loss to, to understand what they're going through and let them know that there's a safe place uh, for them to talk and communicate um, with other uh, mm -hmm. survivors, as well as uh, promoting you know educational tools to help people identify you know yeah, risk okay. signs and uh, potential challenges around um, people with uh, suicidal uh, thoughts. Mm -hmm. That there is a safe place yeah. and a way for them to talk and communicate. Because I think what people don't understand is how common the numbers are actually for suicide as well. So yes. let's talk about the golf tournament though yes. and how you're able to kind of marry the two together and yes. get to families together, get people yep. talking about it. The tournament is coming up when? The tournament uh, this year, it's the third annual, is okay. on uh, April 15th mm -hmm. at uh, one o'clock at the Cheval Golf and Athletic mm -hmm. Club. And um, it, it was a way for all of the um, neighbors and mm -hmm. friends and families and and community to really spend time uh, to remember yeah. Joshua and He's really got a, a memorial there right on the yes golf he does too? yeah on the on, on the fifth tee Aww. there's a nice memorial there mm -hmm. and when golfers come by and they see the memorial um, everyone um, places something at the memorial whether it's a tee or a mm -hmm. bottle cap or a ball marker and that just shows really that yeah. people are uh, continue to to remember mm -hmm. him and that brings a, a lot of uh, warmth and uh, positive memories yeah. associated with uh, the time that we did have with Joshua. Well, uh, as we get ready to wrap up here, again, do you need to go ahead and register, I guess, for the golf tournament? And Yes, um, everything is done online now through the website. Okay. It's the Joshua Kernahan Memorial Fund .org. Um, You can register as a foursome or as an individual. Okay. There will also be um, a place there for donations if you'd like to make a donation as well. Uh, but we also have a silent auction. Um, there's yeah. a number of wonderful uh, items that have been uh, donated yeah. that helps us raise funds for these two great uh, charities that we support. Well, thank you so much for coming on our show thank this you. morning, sharing your story for helping other families out there. We'll make sure and put the info on our website Great. so families can more uh, learn more as well. But God bless Great. you and your family. We thank appreciate you. you being here. Thank you.